Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, triumphed in the Slovakia Endurance Championship for 120 kilometres distance. His Highness extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, noting the steady strides achieved by Bahrain Endurance, which confirms its edge in the European competitions. He stressed the importance of these achievements, which give a team an incentive to continue to provide the best levels during the next stage. He praised the achievements in the 120 and 160 kilometre races and hailed the efforts of the team in this regard. He said that Slovakia International Championship has revealed the capabilities of the royal team and the jockey's high potential in order to continue gaining experience ahead of the next world championship. His Highness praised the performance of the Royal Endurance Team riders Salman Issa, Manal Fakrari and Mohammed Al Hashemi, who finished second, third and fourth respectively. The winners of the race were crowned at the end of the contest during a ceremony held by the organising committee. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, a Chairman of the High Committee for Hajj and Umrah Affairs, Nawaf bin Mohammed Anwarda, hailed the efforts exerted by the Saudi Arabia in serving pilgrims. The Minister stated that the success of this year's pilgrimage reflects Saudi Arabia's historic role in serving pilgrims to perform their Hajj rituals. He commended the efforts of the Bahrain Hajj Mission in light of the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to serve Bahrain pilgrims. The Minister also noted the role of the Interior Ministry Security Committee and the Health Ministry's Medical Committee and other panels operating as part of the Bahrain Hajj Mission in serving Bahraini pilgrims. He expressed Bahrain's pride in the Saudi Arabia's efforts led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and the Saudi Crown Prince in serving the pilgrims and providing them with all facilities to perform the Hajj rituals easily and comfortably. The Bahrain Summer Festival 2022 will kick off today under the theme A Golden Edition. Organised by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities at BACA, the 14th edition of the festival will run until July the 31st. The festival features an extensive programme of cultural activity that includes a series of workshops, an exciting programme of performances and live artistic and entertainment activities on the stage of the Cultural Hall, in addition to a variety of mobile restaurants, the Nakul Star competition and many more, so that visitors of all ages will have an enjoyable time. 
The Heritage Commission of the Saudi Ministry of Culture will present a number of workshops at the Arts Centre that seek to introduce famous handicrafts in Saudi Arabia. The Cultural Hall will also host a musical piano evening for three rising Bahraini stars in a special show highlighting local talents. The General Presidency for the Affairs of the Two Holy Mosques reported that a robot is distributing copies of the Quran to pilgrims performing the final Hajj ritual before leaving Mecca. Talf Awadha is performed before a pilgrim departs from Mecca and is an obligatory ritual. The Presidency's Deputy President for Guidance Affairs, Sheikh Bada bin Abdullah al Furay, explained that the robot uses a dual automatic navigation system and has three dimensional sensor to avoid collision with barriers and people. Al Farai said the use of technology, modern applications, and artificial intelligence is one of the priorities of the head of the presidency, Sheikh Abdurrahman Al Sudez. The governor of the Maka region and president of the Central Hajj Committee, Prince Khaled Al Faisal, said this year's Hajj season, which welcomed around one million pilgrims for the first time after two years of COVID 19 restrictions, has been a success. He stated that there have been no recorded accidents, infections or disease outbreaks during the pilgrimage. Prince Khaled attributed the success to the extensive financial support, projects and staff that the government dedicated to ensure a smooth and secure Hajj for pilgrims. He praised the efforts of security personnel and medical staff in serving pilgrims coming from all over the world. The 13th day of Dhul Hijjah marked the last day of Hajj rituals for this year, a spiritual journey of 899,353 pilgrims from all over the world came to an end. With beautiful memories and strengthened faith, pilgrims expressed their happiness after completing the fifth pillar of Islam with tears and gratitude. After spending a week in the Mina tents, pilgrims will now bid farewell to the kingdom and return to their home countries. During this Hajj season, an integrated team consisting of 13 government agencies working under the supervision of the Ministry of Hajj and Umrah has been managing the movement and transportation of pilgrims to ensure the process goes as smoothly as possible.